So, Abraham, looks like we're doing Jotaro or Joe Jotaro, something like that. What's his name? Yeah, what? Kujo Jotaro. All right, cool. I figured it'd be that way. He's always pointing at something. Why is he always pointing? That's cool. All right, so. <clears throat> I am just brought in your mesh and let's talk about it real quick. When I drag it out, it gives me the back first. And as king, no one shows their back to me, right? So if we go to preview right here, we can see that front is the back of the of the mesh. So we need to turn that around easily. So we can go here to preview. We can rotate that around, hold shift. So it's locked in place and press store. All right. And then we can go to the hat, rotate that around, press store. Okay. We can press N and we can go to our other subtools if we need to. Unless if there's just two, then you can just press up and down on your keyboard. Go to the eyes, rotate those around, and store. Okay. So, good job here on the neck area. It's looking really good. Your trap is where your problem is. Um, your clavicles are coming out when they should be coming straight up and down. Um, and you're missing your hip bone right here. And your foot's a little thin. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops, I'm not on it. There we go, sorry. It's, that was an easy fix. Then we can also flatten the bottom of it with a clip curve. Right. Nice flat round edge. Uh, good job here. Uh, you're missing this. Um, this muscle right here in the center of the leg. Um, uh, everything else pretty much marked in. So let's start from the top. Do, 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 do. Start from the top. Um, okay. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do is Trying to fix these rhythms. And I'm gonna turn off the arms for right now. And I'm gonna flatten this area. So do that. Comes in a little bit higher on this. A little bit more of the calf. Okay. So you can see how the calf is swooping in. What you need to do is fix that area. Okay. And this is looking all right. Go down a bit more. Now we have too much of a peak, an unnatural peak. So we'll just smooth that out. Okay, your lats got to come from. They are coming from the right place, it's just that it's a wrong shape. Okay, so we need to come from there. And then smooth this out. Smooth that out. Fix that rib cage a bit. And next we'll go to the trapezius. Your traps, so they come from behind the neck right here, right, 
Right now, yours is just going into the spine. What we need to do is fix this. And your traps attached to your chromium process right here. Like so, smooth that out. Bring in the... Bring in the collarbone again, or the clavicle. Split down the center. Muscles on each side. Attaches to the base of the skull. And there we go. Okay, good start on this face, though. It's looking pretty dope. <clears throat> I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I would say you're at the point where you can um, start zero meshing. Um, let's fix this tricep. So you can see the angle right here. And then it wobbles. Comes in. We don't want any wobble. No wobble, wobble. Okay. Um, so let's get our mask lasso so we can get a more organic uh, selection. Oops. Three dimension. Grab that. Grab that. That. Then I'm going to press Control W. Don't like that. Control W. Um, so I can undid it and regrouped it by pressing control W so I can give it a better um, um, a better colored poly group and then I'm going to take these legs poly group those oops, oops, oops. turn dynamesh off don't need it anymore all right and then i'm gonna get the head Control w and, and there we go nope there we go all right so now we're gonna go to the arms and we're gonna fix the shape here okay so you have the right idea um i get my uh damn standard out and I'm just sketching, so I don't really want the lazy mouse. I'm not looking for precision, just sketching things in. So your bicep goes into your armpit. All right. Let's just take a look at the shape of the tricep here. You almost have it. Almost. All right, I'm going to smooth it out. Then I'm going to grab my move brush, and I'm going to add that right there. Okay. And if we look at this arm, there's going to be 45 degree angle on the peak. Right? We can put that there. We can change it at any time, right? And smooth that out. And the problem here is this divot right there. So we're going to fill that in. And there's no brachialis here. So that's what separates your bicep from your tricep. Then you put that in and it connects to your um, your deltoid anyway. Okay. And your brachialis, especially on a guy like this, is going to come out farther than the bicep itself. Okay. Make sure that your brachialis and your tricep is framing your bicep from the front. 
All right, so making this pattern right here. You see what I mean? Your bicep isn't going to be this entire area. It's just going to be framed by the other muscle groups. Make sure you study the, what those are. <clears throat> and we're going to connect the tricep to the elbow. On each side of the elbow is like a cylindrical shape. Right? Maybe not that big. And then there's muscle that comes out. Ready? So, uh, let me get my reference out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All righty. All right, so the overall shape of this, we're gonna beef this part up a bit and smooth that. Okay. Now from this side, tricep is going to connect right inside here. All right, so we all want a strong divot in there. Want smooth transition. I think we're right song for smooth transition. Anyway, be like a Sarde song for CG artists, sculptors. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> so we need to put this muscle right here. And. We need overall shaping of this um, this hand, and I also like to just for me my own personal use. I like to have the hand pronated. So we're going to turn on local symmetry. There we go. Oops, that's a little bit too much. So we'll just dynamesh this together. That'll be fine. All right, so. What I'm going to do now is fix the shape of this wrist right here. All right, so the first problem that we have is that the, um, the hand needs to be in the right shape. It's pretty much a box for the, uh, you have it right here. This is good. I like that. Um, the palm of the hand is kind of like a box, and then the thumb comes from there. So we're going to need to puff that out and pull this out because it's pretty much a straight line to that bone on the side of our wrist. So, the next thing we got to do is fix the overall shape. And we 
we go. So again, the 45 degree roll. Oops. Oops. There. Fill in that area because see that shadow. So if I look at it from this way, it's not the shape that we're looking for. All right. We gotta dig that in. If we're looking for from this side is shape right down the palm and comes out so you have it right on this side you just need to fill it in the back side of it without the transition and then there's this big depression going down from here that wraps around the front to the inside of the wrist right here. And smooth that out. Then you can kind of like have an egg right here. We need to fill in this area. Smooth it up. And then comes to the outside and smooth. You see how this dips out and comes back out again? That's the shape we're looking for. Something like that is what we're looking for. Okay. So I'm going to get my trim dynamic and I'm going to smooth that right there. Now, <clears throat> we're going to look at the bicep to, to uh, forearm transition, okay? So we're going to mark in right here. And on this, I am going to use my lazy mouse. So, let's take a look at it from here. I need to beef this up a bit more. You see that shape I'm building? Comes out, box, goes back in. Okay, so had to frame it a little bit better. Okay, so let's take a look at this shape. So it's ballooning a bit too much here, so we'll flatten that area. This is bicep is all right. What we need are the tendons on each side of the arm. So we need to add that in there, smooth it out. And then we need to dig in this area right here. Okay. And that's going to continue straight down. So let's take a look at the shape from this angle. So the misshapen part we have here is that this curve is a little bit too low. It's something like that. And then come straight down. And then rotate to the inside. Let's go to the elbow for a bit. Okay. 
we're gonna put the elbow right here. And we got our two cylinders on each side. Right? So we're gonna mark in where the tricep tendon comes in. And then tricep will attach right here, the actual muscle. And then go pretty much straight up into the shoulder right here with right there is where we're going to have the apex right rotate that around so what we're looking for is a straight line going in to the trap to the um tricep right so let's just mark where we want that to go right there okay and right there so we're going to get a straight line so we're gonna rough in a flat area then get our trim dynamic and even out that area. Smooth that out. Okay, so we lost a little bit right here. And we want a straight line coming from the elbow, right? So we don't want to dip right here. So I'm going to look at it. There, pull it out. And then I'm going to go back to my trim dynamic and hold Alt. So we can build it up. And even it out. Move. And build it up here. Yeah. That's a bit better. that in and bring that in too okay so now what we're going to be looking for is pretty much got the shape right now that we're looking for on this profile would say Looking at it from this angle, we could pull it out a bit more. And well, let me try something else. Let's bring that in. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Oops. So let's move on to the other side of the tricep. So what we're going to do is we're going to beef up the inside right here and have the transition ease as we connect it. And smooth that out. Build that up. I'm going to use my damn standard in and just keep reassuring or remarking that separation. Because while you're sculpting, you lose things and you have to bring it back. And then that's just part of the game. So just expect that. Okay, so from here, it's kind of like a curve. And then, boom, right there. 
And but it doesn't actually go all the way down to the elbow, right? There's a connective tissue, another muscle that takes care of that. So the tricep ends before it gets there. And then on the inside right here is pretty much a flat area, so we can get our trim dynamic. And just flatten that area smooth. So next thing I'm going to do is flatten out this area a bit, smooth it out. And mark it in a bit more with my damn standard. No. Shape of this tendon right here, connecting the uh, tricep to the elbow. It's a little misshapen. What I'm going to do is beef up the outside and then eat away as it goes in. There's not enough meat on the outside of that. All right. So let's take a look at our brachialis. And so our brachialis is going to assist in framing our bicep. So we're going to go here, and it's going to go into the side of the bicep right here. And it's going to go... <coughs> under this tendon that I got illustrated right there, okay? So, brachialis comes out right there, and then we know to fill in this area. We have a bit of a wobble right here in our line. So go on to fix that and bring that in. Okay. So the front of the bicep, I really like to have is like um, kind of like a flat area. I'm gonna hold Alt. Do that, and see how it's kind of like just as a curve. We kind of want a straight line, and then have it dip off. So we're we're gonna fix that. And no, and I'm gonna take that in a bit. Force that there is a muscle that comes through here, All right in here in between. Bicep and the tricep. <clears throat> but it's very, very small. And it'll end stops at the uh, first third of the bicep. So it ends. Well, it goes. Well, disappears into its insertion point. And smooth that out. Smooth out around there. 
there we go. Right. So what we had And and what we got right. So a few slight changes, mainly just framing it um, a little bit better. So next thing I'm gonna do is go to these hands because they need the most work. Your hands uh, spend the same amount of time that you do on your face as, as you do on your hands, right? So if you spend a day or a week on the face, do the same, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relax the thumb a bit. So I still have my mask lasso and gonna feather that and rotate it down a bit. And we're gonna fix some of these shapes before we move on to uh, zero meshing it. Right. So we're gonna mask this off, press control W, get our hands only. I only wanna work on one hand don't need to work on both of them. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to mirror and weld just to ensure the topology is the same on the on the left as it is the right. Okay. So select the hand, turn off symmetry, and I only want to work with my actual offhand. So not the hand that I sculpt with, but the hand that I use the keyboard with, All right? So if we take a look at this overall, All right? Is, it's a little too balloony here at the edges of the fingers. And the thumb is a little pointy, right? <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten that area. I'm going to look at my own hand and my own thumb, see the direction that my thumb is naturally in. And sculpting from that angle. Okay, and I'm just marking the tip of the finger so I know that it's a straight bone. So. Finding that tip. Fixing that webbing right there, it's not that stretched. Right. And fixing this wobble right here. And it goes in as it meets that bone. And my first indentation and then my two pads for the thumb. Okay. And it's a flat plane for the top of the thumb going all the way to the wrist. I mean, there is that curve where the knuckle goes in, but in terms of the top of the thumb, it's pretty much flat. Right? So now let's fix uh, our measurements because this thumb's a little bit too long and a little bit too thin. You can notice I'm 
looking at it from every angle. Alright, that's a bit better, alright? So what I like to do with the fingers is just make sure they're all consistent in terms of their shape. Not their length or proportion, but you know, all the tip of the fingers look the same. Um, at least when I'm blocking them out. And this one's a little too thick when he gets to the base of it. The fingers look a little bit too high up. What I'm going to do is thin them, thin them up a bit. So just using the move brush. And then moving them down because, well, probably be easier in this. Uh, I think he's a little too far apart. And this middle finger needs to be rotated a bit. <clears throat> now I'm going to rotate this thumb in a bit. Alright, so I'm just going to flatten the top of all these. Oops. You know, they be calling, trying to set up for the week. Uh, hold on one second. But yeah, I'm just uh, getting the um, top of these fingers. And checking my... Oh, maybe double check it. off my phone. Apologize if, about that. Abraham, all right, now all of us are perfect, okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Fix those pads. And pad comes from here, from the um, To the pinky. To the pinky. And we have a depression right here. Smooth it out. And get our tendons back. I try to have all the fingers bending in the same, uh, I mean, flexed the same. So this one's a little bent. It's just going to be easier whenever you rig it that you don't have that one finger that just happens to be slightly bent at the tip. Um, so, let's say... Right. And you can see how it's high, then low, then high, and then low. So I'm going to try to even out the surface area so I can get my overall shape correct. Okay. 
So now I got something a little bit better. Bring everything back. So you know how we mirror and welded it before. So now we can go here, deformation and smart resim. And now it transferred our sculpt from the left to the right, or from the right to the left. Right. So I got the hands in a better shape. Right. I'm not trying to finalize the hands; just trying to get them looking a little bit better. So I'm gonna fix this shape right here. It needs to. Not lose so much. Let me take. Let you take a look at it. See how it loses all of its mass right here. It's not what I want. So get that back in. And get that right. And get this a little bit straighter of a line. And so, next thing I'm going to fix is that the um, feet are, I mean, that the legs are a bit too straight. What I do is that hips usually go from there and they go in a bit. Like that. And then... The tibia kind of comes out this way, but starts from here. So let me show you that. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, turn symmetry back on. And <clears throat> let me see. So to fix that shape right there. Ready? And need to add that muscle in there. You see how it's a little bit wobbly here. So there we go. Straight line. Good transition into the foot. Alrighty, pretty decent work right here in the in the legs. Let's definitely fix this oblique because it's a little bumpy. Ready? <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab my build up and let me look at my reference just to make sure I get this right okay so what we're looking for is we're marking in a rib cage and then our obliques come from that. Okay. They go pow, 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 right there, right? And then across the hips. And then end right here, right? Right where the lats come in. So now that we have it blocked out, we can see all the wobbliness that's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my trim dynamic. And we're just going to rake it back and forth. And then smooth. And there we go. So we got rid of that wobbliness, right? Then we're going to even out this area just for right now. Run the rear cage, smooth that out. 
All right, so what I want for the obliques is I want them to come out at an angle. So I'm going to use my trim dynamic. I'm going to come at it from this angle because it is camera based, or at least angle based. So I'm really digging in and then just going to smooth transition. And That's kind of like what I'm looking for. And then smooth that transition out as well. All right, so from the front, <clears throat> it's uh, it's a bit flat right here. So, you can build it up a bit. This has lost a bit of that shape. And let's get this angle right first. So, it is going to be something like that. Right? Alrighty, and so right here, we're going to give this a little level right there, and then smooth that out. Okay. Let's take a look at what we had, All right, which is pretty decent, I mean, pretty good. Right. And so what we need to do is give the bring back the rib cage. So I'm going to beep that up a bit. So I'm going to hand a bit more to these obliques. And a bit more to the back end of it. You see how it's coming out and going back like that? <clears throat> and I want to smooth that out a bit. We're going to pull the back out. Now we got this. Smooth out the transition. That looks a bit better. Ready? Alright, so let's get this chest. Lock that in. So you see how yours is curved like that? What we're looking for is pull that out a bit, push that in. Alright, so flat and then comes down. Smooth that out. And then we've got so gonna grow our selection. There we go. And go right here 
And this is going to be... Our Serratus. And I'm just following the rib cage with this. So I'm going to add just a little bit too much of a uh, depression in there, just a natural depression. I'm going to fill that area in, smooth it out, still keeping my form. Yeah, it makes much more sense. All right. What I'm going to do is add this in here, this little shape. And <clears throat> kind of even out the back first. Smooth that out. Okay. And it's looking fine, a little bit too wobbly, but it's because it's right here. It's where you need to add a bit more. All right. So we get a, the oblique, or this uh, oblique is a little bit too far back, and this isn't too, isn't forward enough. So we're going to grab our move brush, move that forward, and move this oblique. Here. Move that out. Yeah, makes more sense. And let's get this. Stomach real quick. There's two muscles right here. Right? Then there's two more right here. And two smaller ones right here. And then the longest of all the three going down. Okay. Ready. That makes a bit more sense. Anatomically speaking. All right, so there we go. So that's an hour of re-sculpting this. <clears throat> when we get to the shoulders, um, the only thing I can say real quick is that it's too baloney. What I do is just flatten that area right there. And make it a little bit shorter. And there's some problems here in the back. Uh, real quickly, just need to fill out this area and make sure your rear don't connect it to your scapula in the back. But other than that, um, just try to take your sculpt uh, to this level, make sure all your uh, arm shapes are there. And you should be good, man. You should be good. You should be able to figure it all out after you get those done. Um, start recognizing those forms. Okay. So um, for all the other body parts, especially the back, you can 
go to the other tutorial videos. The legs was the last one that I did. Um, so definitely check out that one. It was for Julio's Spider-Man. But, um, yeah. Uh, let's raise this collar a bit. It's a little too low. Makes our chest a little bit too long. Spread out that back a bit more. All right, and get this trim dynamic, and I'm just going to flatten that area a bit. All right. This chest is a little wobbly. Fix that. A good, sh good shape uh, for the head, though. But yeah, so um, hopefully that fix your, helps out, fixes some of your torso problems. Um, yeah. Shape right there, so I can separate the shoulder from the chest. That's a bit more forgiving to the eye. Okay, so um, yeah, really love the face too. Keep going, and hopefully this uh, video helps. If there's anything else um that you want to discuss, then please just um hit me up. Um, either in class, through email, or um, uh, any of the forums or whatever. Whenever you have so many avenues with which to contact me, so please utilize them so you can be the best sculptor you can be. All right. All right, Abraham. Appreciate it. Thank you.